What's up guys, so it is me obviously and I thought today I'd do this video today where I do a story time video today because I never actually do story time videos before but thought you know what this video is going to be a story time video because I recently had a haircut as you can tell by my lovely hair. And it reminds me of a time where I went to a hairdresser once in a town in North Wales and I went to like dodgy hairdressers and he cut my hair really badly and made me bald and was all spay abuse he told me to all me as well so I thought you know what I'm gonna tell that story today so yeah. Now I don't normally do story times on this channel because I'm just not a person who really does story times. But yeah if you're excited to look at the office video, try to tell, do all the things and let's get started shall we so yeah. So seven or eight years ago, I went to like hairdressers in North Wales. I went there for a holiday once and I really needed a haircut because my hair was going quite long and I was a child back then and my hair used to always grow quite a lot as a child and it's hair still does but to an extent where it always grow quite ugly and like greasy and not very good. So it always need cutting. And we was once on holiday in Wales so we tried to drive around all the different hairdressers in town and we looked at hairdressers online and this is hairdressers which I know the name of but I'm not going to say so I'm just gonna say I don't know yellow cushion hairdressers and saying that because I'm looking at a yellow cushion so we found yellow cushion hairdressers online and all the reviews all like the seven reviews because it's a really dodgy barber shop in the middle of like nowhere and real it's in the town centre but it's like a tiny little building so it wasn't really that well known so that's how we found yellow cushion hairdressers in this like online review thing so then we found it on Facebook as well so it's on like a Facebook page and there was advertisements like Charles haircut for like nine pounds so it looks pretty cheap so we decided to go to that hairdressers and apparently he's known for like doing like men's turkish haircuts and you know doing like a turkish barber thing for men and you know doing all the hairs and giving like turkish shaves you know what you do in like a turkish barber like give all the shaves out and you do all that kind of stuff but i wasn't there to have a shave i was there to get my hair cut like just not even like be bald just like have my hair cut you know, have all this bit tied up and shorter and have a little shave on the sides. That's what I normally go for, just a simple short back and sides. So we drove up to this like hairdresser place. Is that, is that down like a dirty old street? Like an alleyway kind of thing. And we found this like dilapidated looking building. It was like a mouldy old building and it had been painted, like the front had been painted. So it's like this like horrible whitish color. Whilst we didn't think anything of it, we just like continued to drive into the like, hairdressers. And then we obviously saw the hairdressers, which had like, it's, it's like signage at the front and it, the window and whatever. So we decided to park up and we walked in this hairdressers and we walked in and it already stunk of cigarette smoke. And even then I thought, this can't be good. Uh, we walked in, this like porch thing, and the porch thing was like really dirty. And I looked in the walls, and there was like kind of like mold everywhere on the walls. And I thought, this is not good. So anyway, we walked in through this porch into this like room where the hairdressing stuff was, and I was met by this like short man. I remember he was short. He had glasses on, and he had this like spikyish hair. If any, I think he was also a baldy as well, but he had like spikyish hair and he looks kind of, um, I wouldn't say threatening, but I'm trying to like, find a polite way of saying threatening. He didn't look good basically. So I walked in to be greeted by this man and immediately um, the conversation went like this. Ding. Hi. Oh, what are you doing here, young man? I have come for a haircut, <laughs> you know, because this is a barber's, so obviously a barber's means haircut. Okay. Do you want to take a seat? So I took a seat in a waiting room. My waiting room wasn't really a waiting room. It was like a part of a hairdressing room that had like a, like a leather sofa. And it looks like one of those like leather sofas which like fly tipped in like in the Tesco car park. You know, just like dump a sofa there next to recycling bins and all it's like leather has been torn and been burnt on and peed and pooped on. And it looked like that. It was like a very dirty sofa, like leather sofa. And it had like, you know, like UK cushions you used to get like all the time. So I sat on the sofa. I had to wait like half an hour for him to like clean up and do all that kind of stuff. And as I was like waiting half an hour, he was like on his laptop and he was on his phone then. And it doesn't look like he was doing any sort of work on his phone. He was just like on his phone, just like texting and, you know, just doing that kind of stuff. And he started to like call his like, 
wife, I think, about something. So I had to sit there 30 minutes and listen to him have a, have a conversation with his wife, probably about diarrhea. Okay. So chicken curry for tea then, yeah. Perfect. Right, bye, Lovie. Bye. Come. Coming. <laughs> So I followed him to this like hairdressing chair, like there was like spinny chair things. I sat down and that's when he started to put the dressing gown on me. Now it was like a dressing gown which was like too small for me because I had like several sizes. So he had the child size and he also had an adult size, like one of like capes. And he put those on, on me and it felt like really tight, it was like really dirty cape, it was like full of hairs, he clearly hadn't washed it in all his like hour and a half which was on the phone to his wife about diarrhea for. So I made a comment, I was like, okay I'm just down because it's like really dirty. And the man literally was like, no, you're having this gown. And it's like really hairy, really sort of dirty. He's just like really being sort of really patronising and I can't remember exactly what he said but he said something along the lines of, well you just have to live with this gown for the majority of this hairdressing time. So I sat down and obviously waited for the man to obviously get his hairdressing equipment out and get it ready and whatever else he needs to do. So I sat down and immediately he got his like big massive razor out and he didn't even ask me what Sally wanted. So I started piping up and I asked for sh short back and sides. And then he was like, you don't need a short back and sides. What you need is my sort of way of her dressing. Something like that, but it wasn't a very sort of nice way. So he immediately got a huge razor out and started to aggressively stroke my hair, just like that. And obviously, as he was doing that, he started making some like really sort of degrading comments because I suffered from Mac, for Mac Oh, I can't say it. From acne. I suffered from my like, acne back then and my spots were, like all over my face and I had acne spots all over my face. Like I suffered like really badly with like acne at the time. And um, I was like 12 or 13, so I was going through like puberty like really badly at the time. And this is how this conversation went. Right. Arms up. Put your arms up. Jesus Christ, look at that hair. Jesus, there's like literally spots all over the hair. Jesus, look at the spots in your face. Ugh, your face is so fat, I can't even like get around your head. Jesus, have you ever washed your hair? Your hair is so greasy. Like, I'm literally just like holding it and it's like literally touching oil. Jesus, I think you can fry chips in your head. Do you know, I actually hate when people like you come in because you're very dirty. Obviously you're clearly grown up because I can smell it because you absolutely stink of B.O. Like people like you just make it so hard for me to cut you know, and do this hairdressing business. I wish I never even started doing this business, it's so bloody hard. So after that entire 15 minutes of him giving me life lessons in his own fashionable aggressive way even though he knows nothing about acne and I was actually like using a lot of cleaning products at the time for my face like I have all kinds of things for my acne so I had like moisturiser, I had like face wash, I use all kinds every single day for my acne but my acne just didn't want to go like my acne just like wanted to stay and just flourish on my face, just grow my face despite me washing every single day, even sometimes twice it actually so he had no place in telling me how to shower because one he smelled bad himself like he smelled like cigarette smoke and sick and vomit hence the smell in the room and also he had a huge like massive beard out which looked really greasy like you could literally fry a chip on that beard anyway so he basically did that for whole like 15 minutes and then eventually he managed to like shave my hair and as he was shaving my hair I started like twitching very slightly when he very aggressively told me to stop fucking twitching in his exact that is the exact sort of word. I started obviously to think about it which caused me to do it more. Eventually after the whole ordeal of me twitching and him like literally yelling at me at this point to stop twitching and me so aggressive and continuing to say such degrading comments about my hair, he eventually spotted some spots on my hair which is not normal like you can be the cleanest person in the world and still have spots in your hair sometimes that's just what happens but he noticed them and you know, it's obviously my hair like quite stringy as well. Not because I didn't wash it, because I wash my hair every single day, but the hair was still like naturally stringy. And immediately he said the exact same thing. Oh my f***ing God, this hair is such a f***ing 
nuisance. And that continued for a good five minutes whilst he was shaving the back of my hair. And I didn't ask for number one, but as soon as he started shaving the back of my hair, here's when my hair starts to look quite different, I should say. Like, like he cut like number one, but he cut it so short to the point where all this was like here. And then he started going into my ears as well. And he would not like, he was not gentle. Like he started like, banging right into my ears. Like, he, razor things like going right in my ears and it really sort of hurt my ears and I was scared of like saying anything because he'll, he'll like probably yell at me or something and before you know it he was done and what was left behind was this huge sort of like really really shaved off hair like he kind of like left a red mark on my hair and he then started to of course start shaving this hair so I would normally ask for a tidy up just like I was tidy up like or even put it a tiny bit shorter but um Yellow cushion hairdresser style of doing hair is basically to get a razor and shove the razor right onto my hair. Just like what I'm doing with my hands right now. He literally did this, like he literally got his razor, like this like hand here, and started going like this for all my hair. And he was doing quite aggressively as well. He was like he was, he was like he was like sort of stressed whilst he was doing like he was like he was sort of like laying all his anger out whilst he was like shave my hair so eventually after revealing my new bald look I mean it was like really bald as well I've got pictures somewhere I'm sure I've got pictures I'll try and have a look and give it to you guys at the end of this video but I went over to the till to pay for this haircut and what was even worse was was that it wasn't usual like eight pounds like it's on the website it was 15 pounds so I got charged 15 pounds for a haircut which I didn't like or didn't want but he just did it anyway. Saying the most insulting, disgusting comments about my acne and about how disgusting and dirty I am. But he still charged me £15 for a service which was terrible. So and then afterwards, it was a weekend, so on the Monday I had to go to school and go to school with my brand new bald look. Anyway, so that was the story. So I'm actually watching this story and a good moral of the story is that never go to a hairdresser's which you don't feel looks great because I looked at a dodgy old building. I looked at the dodgy website and the dodgy Facebook page and we thought, yes, this is the hairdresser to go to and then only to receive the most terrible service. Probably ever so. Hope you guys like watching this little story time. If you have to, if it's a this video, scratch, I'll do all the things. And let me know if you want any more story times because I don't know if we do story times on this channel, but I don't know. I think after this one, I might do some more story times. I don't know. But if you guys want to hear any more stories, then leave a comment below. But as always, I'll see you guys in another video. So bye. Thank you.